My name is Yvonne Mosquera-Schmidt, and I am a Paralympic runner and triathlete. If I get a thought in my head, that is what I will work towards very diligently. I never once thought that I shouldn't be doing something because I couldn't see. At one year old, Yvonne Muscara Schmidt was diagnosed with retinal cancer. By age two, she'd had both eyes removed. I do not have any memories of having had sight. I have two older sisters who are both sighted. My parents basically insisted that there was no difference between my sisters and me. Yvonne had a burning desire to learn, and being visually impaired didn't hold her back. I worked hard at school. I felt that everything was an opportunity to progress. I went on to study at Stanford. I studied mathematics, and I took some organic chemistry and some biology just for fun. Then, Yvonne discovered her true passion. She found an organization that supports visually impaired runners by pairing them with sighted partners. But learning how to run a course she couldn't see wasn't easy at first. And Yvonne needed positive reinforcement to keep going. They'd say, you know, if, if we run another mile, we'll get a hot chocolate today. Me being a chocoholic, that's <laughs> the number one, you know, treat you could put out there for me. Yvonne turned out to be an incredibly gifted distance runner, having won the women's visually impaired division of the Boston Marathon three times. Part of her success may be the unique process Yvonne and her husband John have developed for learning the intricacies of each race course. There is definitely mental preparation. I put together a mental map, a picture in my brain of the particular race course. John will sit with the maps and he will actually trace the maps with my finger so that I have all that information in my head. But running is not the only physical challenge Yvonne has taken on. I started racing triathlons in 2007 as a bet. Someone had bet me that they didn't think I'd be able to finish an Olympic distance triathlon. The swim was the most difficult part, and my ears are really my sense of direction. To block my ears out was really frightening. To get the task done is really just an ability to, you know, push past those fears. Yvonne has racked up over 25 triathlons, including a gold medal win at the 2013 Paratriathlon World Championship in London. But in the summer of 2014, as Yvonne was deep in training for the Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro, her entire life was turned upside down. We went out to race London in April of last year, and I got to the halfway point, and I could not finish the race. That had never happened to me. I was also having some discomfort in, in my bladder, and sure enough, there was a mass in my bladder. Yvonne had fought retinal cancer as a child and skin cancer less than a decade earlier. Now, she had stage two bladder cancer and was facing the disease for a third time. Needless to say, a shock to the system. Definitely lots of fear. How long did I have left on this planet? And there were so many dreams yet to be accomplished, but there was a sense of, we have to fight. I've fought all my life, right? And so there's no, there's no time to stop now. Her husband, John, helped her through every step of her treatment. Having a supportive partner who really believes in what your dreams are, it's critical. With John's help, Yvonne is back in training for the 2016 Paralympics in Rio. Beyond 2016, I have lots of dreams. They all revolve around teaching and leading others to achieve 
whatever their goals are. I believe there's nothing you cannot do, there's nothing you cannot try. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs>